you told me today that you're ready to make a bold statement. Yeah. Um. Uh, the big question with this team, right? You got a new head coach, new offensive coordinator, new defensive coordinator. People were saying Sam Howell should be the guy. I bet y'all have calmed down with that now. They should go draft a quarterback. I was one of those guys who thought maybe they should get a quarterback. Mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you right now, the Geno that we've seen for four weeks, you can win a Super Bowl with Geno. You can win a Super Bowl with Geno Smith. He's second, first in the league when it comes to yards, second when it comes to um, uh, completion percentage. This guy does not make many mistakes. He's keeping the team in the game by himself. The line is blocking. The receivers are making plays. But some of the throws that he's making, he's running. It's third and 10. He's running to the sideline. I'm watching the All-22. Y'all got that TV version? It does no justice when you're breaking out Gino and what he's doing. He's running to the sideline, throwing the ball to JSN. Like, the, the window is legit two feet wide that he has to fit that thing in. And he's making these plays. And I'm watching this game. I'm watching it on TV. TV first, and I go, this is crazy. Geno's on another level. And then I watch the All-22, and I really appreciate what he's doing. There are a couple throws. Back shoulder throw to Jason that he should have got. He's putting the ball where only his receivers can get it. Is he going to make mistakes? For sure. He's a human being. But Geno is playing at such a high level right now. And the four touchdowns and four interceptions could fool you a little bit. You'd be like, whoa, but what about the, the touchdown-interception ratio? I was listening to first take rolling in and they're like Detroit just destroyed the Seahawks and they were three and one or three and all I go y'all not watching the film you're just looking at the the score and the stats and even if you look at the stats the stats will lie to you 516 yards of offense 38 first downs these dudes were moving that ball the fumble by Geno jacked them up uh the the uh, the the pass interference on Tyler Lockett those are things that really happen but Geno Smith Right now, you give him a defense that is healthy, that is good in the box, that has linebackers, that's good on the back end. With this offense, I'm telling you, you, Geno is good enough to win you a Super Bowl. I think the best thing this organization have done since Russell left was give this dude a chance because he's on another level right now. What if someone, and I can already hear them say it, says, oh, I think this is a one-off for Geno. Like, oh, this is just Geno who had a really good game. He'll do that sometimes, and then he'll come out and upset you. He's really just a uh, 500-level quarterback. Like, what if there are people who think and say that right now and who are yelling? at their radio and they right should. now. That so means, going, bump, you're crazy. If that's what you think. That's what you think because you're gonna look at you're gonna look at his win loss. And I hate when they attach win loss to quarterbacks because a quarterback does not play defense. He's not a defensive lineman. He's not an offensive lineman. He is not calling the plays. He's going out there and he's executing. Geno is good enough to win you a Super Bowl if you surround him with the weapons offensively. When Ken Walker's healthy, when you got all your receivers out there, imagine we haven't even seen the best line that this team has to offer yet. Abe is still messed up. Yeah, four guys missing on defense. The Detroit Lions are the better team. You put you put Geno on the Detroit Lions, they're going to go out there and ball out. He's going to throw for 350 and three touchdowns and look great. You put Geno on any of these contending teams, you put him on the Ravens. You put him on the Bills. You put him on the Dolphins. He could save the Dolphins season right now. Mm-hmm. If they were, if they wanted to trade and make an offer, it ain't going to happen. But imagine, you put him on the Dolphins right now, the team who's averaging 11 points per game in the league right now, the lowest in the league, Geno can make that team a contender. This is real. It's taken me three seasons to, to really buy in and see it this way. But when you are watching that film and his decision-making, the way he's throwing the football, I'm telling you, this dude's playing at a different level. We're four weeks in. Four weeks in right now, Geno can win you a Super Bowl. He's got to continue to do it because he doesn't have the resume of Joe Burrow or Josh Allen or even a Jalen Hurts who's struggling. I'll take Geno over Jalen Hurts right now. I'll take Geno over Jared Goff right now. I'll take Geno over Brock Purdy right now. You'll take Geno over the Jared Goff that was 18 for 18, 18 last for 18. night. Caught a touchdown. I'll take, I'll, take, I'll take it over him right now You'll in a take heartbeat. Him over Brock Purdy. Who's Brock one Purdy of the most right now in, in a heartbeat. Year. You put Geno on any of these contending teams and they are still contenders. It might elevate some of them. No cap. Gino, you can win a Super Bowl with Gino. All right, we are going to get back to this conversation.